That was a fun day at the range, I'll tell you what. This uh, little TX-22 gets the job done. Cycles everything except for the really, really light loads. Um, what else can you ask for it though? Now I'm going to show you how I clean it, just in case somebody else doesn't know how to clean or if anybody's curious, but. All right, so I'll take the mag out. We'll break the gun down. I think I was kind of showing how I did that before, but I wasn't very detailed, but we'll first gotta take off your, um, your threaded barrel extension piece. Um, mine really isn't a muzzle brake. I, I know I've said it a couple times as muzzle brake, but this is actually just uh, more of like a thread protector. Um, I just really liked the barrel protruding out of the gun versus it being snub. It's a little more unique, you know, so. But yeah, this is a threaded barrel protector for the um, silencer. That's what this whole piece is for. All right, now that we got that off, we can break the gun down. You just uh, pull this lever down right here. Pull it down. Once you pull it down, pull the trigger, and the barrel, or the whole slide assembly will just pop right off. Super easy. Just in case my uh, other video that I did didn't show that good enough. But um, now I'm going to spray it all down with some uh, CLP. Oh yeah, so for this, I used some CLP. I got an old uh, toothbrush. Well, I didn't use this one, but just a toothbrush that I got. And then some Q-tips. So let's get started. I always spray it down all first. So it can sit and uh, break down everything. Cause I shot a lot of rounds on this today. So, so today I'll go through and do a heavier cleaning. Okay, let that soak. Now uh, can spray this down. Pull this off. Slide, guide slide assembly here. Spray it a little bit. Take the barrel off. Barrel, spray down the barrel, both ends. Let that sit and soak. Spray in here a little bit. Um, after, so I, I cleaned this um, closer to the end of my thousand rounds, so these don't need to be cleaned, but these are super easy to clean too. There's a little, little button on the bottom there. You depress that, you pop this off because these will get dirty and gummed up and then they just won't um, slide as nice. But, um, so I recommend you clean these if you haven't already. Um, I had to clean mine right away when I bought it too. Um, it just, I don't know if they put like some gumpy, gunky stuff in there, but um, one, of my, one of my magazines wasn't working right. The other one was okay. The other one didn't work very well. And I uh, had took both of them apart, cleaned them all up. They worked fine. Just in case any of you guys are having problems like that. Um, yeah, clean your magazines. But all right, this has been soaking. Let's uh, give it a scrub here. Just scrub it down with a toothbrush. I'm not gonna take this gun all completely apart. And I also always inspect inspect everything when you're cleaning it up. Just inspect it. Make sure nothing's broken. I've seen guys on YouTube where this piece has broken off on them. Um, so I've always keep mine, always keep inspecting mine and making sure everything's still good, which mine is. There's no flaws, there's no cracks, there's no nothing. Um, maybe I just got one of the good ones or, I don't know, you all tell me how are your guns holding up. Mine is, never let me down, so. Got that all cleaned up. And wipe it down a little bit. Wait, paper towel quick. Paper towel. So, paper towels are always nice to keep a couple paper towels by.
you'll see real quick how dirty your gun is just by cleaning it up take that tooth take the toothpicks just throw just a dab on there just a dab rub it on the both of them and we're gonna go through clean all the little nooks and crannies with Really get the, the, fa the face, I don't know what this is called, but where the firing pin comes out, really get that good. You can see that sucker just gets nasty. You get the extractor, clean that up real nice. Get the extractor, get all these little slides and grooves cleaned up nice. Put a little more lube than I normally do on here. She's a little uh, slippery. I'm gonna take a dry one now. I have a little more lube on here than I want. Put that aside, the guide rod assembly, that's pretty, uh, doesn't need much, just a little wipe. Take off some of that build up. All right, now we're gonna get to the polymer part. Take your, I, I gotta clean it off. See how nasty that gets. We'll uh, spray a little CLP on here, rub it down with the paper towel. Get some of that nasty gunk off. All right, now we'll scrub it down here. Just give it a scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub, scrub. Scrub, scrub. scrub down in the hall, magazine hall here. Get all that gunk out of there. Okay. Take our paper towel, wipe it down a little bit. Well, if any of you guys got any questions, you always can just leave a comment down below. Anything you uh, are curious about, or I'm interested in getting that TX22 competition. Um, I've never been able. To, I haven't been able to find either the, the kit just to put the slide on top of this gun or the gun itself so that uh, must be a hot item or Taurus is just having a hard time making stuff I don't know um, what that's all about I don't know if it's a Taurus deal or if it's just that crazy hot of an item that they just have no stock so, or if they're just make or if they're just putting more of their efforts in with uh, their other guns like the nine mils and the revolvers. They got some pretty cool revolvers. I wouldn't mind getting one someday. The Q-tips are always a must if you've never done that before. It uh, helps a ton cleaning any of your polymer handguns. I use it for uh, all my handguns.
All right, got that all cleaned up. All right, let's do the barrel. Um, I'm just gonna use my boar snake. Well, maybe I'll just throw this on your foot. Gotta spray this, gotta spray this down. This sucker gets super dirty. Make sure you spray that down too if you have one of these on here. Uh, or if you just have the, the thread protectors for these on the end of your barrel, make sure you take that off and clean all this up. So, Cause this will get, there will be some blowback on here. Um, even if you, either if you have this or if you have the other piece on here. Um, take it off, clean it up because stuff will get in there and if you don't clean it out, it'll get seized down and it won't ever come off. Over time, obviously, this isn't like the first couple times you shoot it, it'll do that. Over time, it'll do that. Yeah. Let's change this out. Two one on. So, have any of you guys been having any issues with your TX22s? Just wondering what issues you've been having, or or if everything's just going smooth too. That's always good too, like me. Um, but I'm curious if any of you guys have any issues. Just let me know. I'm just wondering. So I can keep out too, keep my eye out for it, but. Some dirty barrel. I probably shot on your own that shoot today. In the video, I didn't, I didn't shoot too terribly many. In the video, what I shoot maybe close to 100. But then after the video, I did a little session um, where I was just, I just kept cycling and cycling the rounds to show that this gun just runs flawlessly. The ammo it runs out really, it runs all the ammo really nice. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that in the beginning of the video to show everybody how awesome this gun is, how easy it cycles all the ammo. Two Too many guys rag on this gun, and it does. Uh, I've never had any issues. And that's uh, kind of sad. I think it might be operator error um, when you're cleaning this. Make sure you give this area right here a scrub, right on the back side of the barrel. Give it a nice scrub, clean her up. She's gonna be dirty. I think I ran about 250 rounds today. Had a lot of fun, let my son do a little off camera shooting too. So, let's clean this out.
I think it's time to put the gum back together. We'll do another wipe down here. Just, just make sure. Get more Q-tips here. Just getting excess oil it doesn't need to be there. And if there's any excess oil, it doesn't need to be anywhere, and then there's oil that needs to be in places. So at this time, you can double check it all. Kind of redundant, but I like to do it just because I like to be super precise when uh, handling my firearms because, yeah, basic little mini explosion going on inside your gun. So no point in not making sure everything is just tip top perfect. That's all cleaned up. This is all good. Still got some oil on there. Put the barrel back in. Put the hard rod assembly back in. I think in the, my last video, I was kind of struggling with this. You just kind of got to get this fairly lined up right. This part's going to push down. I want you to find the sweet spot here. There it is, I found it. You push it down, then you just put your hand. So once you got it pushed down, it's in this position. Just put your hand here, and just push it together. The palm of your hand, it's all going to click in together perfectly. See, no troubles, super easy to do. My hands are just oily. Um, yeah, if you have any questions, this gun's awesome, easy to tear down. It's good for the little ones, good for the wife to practice on, and good for you just to have fun, just plain old fun with it. TS TX22 made by Taurus. Thousand plus review now. Um, like I said, this gun runs it all, eats it all, except for <laughs> that bird shot. But um, I ran some low, lower, um, as long as it's got a bullet, you know, 36 grain and up, I've never had any issues with. I've uh, never ran anything less than 36. The only issue I ever had was with that bird shot stuff. Um, like I said, this gun is awesome. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a like and subscribe.